Hey, what up? This is your girl, Makeup Mommy, or Mrs. Makeup One. You'll probably hear my baby running around in the background. That's the whole purpose of Makeup Mommy, because you have to do multiple things with your kids around, right? Well, hopefully you've watched my previous videos, mainly the one where my husband did my makeup, or my other video where I showed you how to do a natural face. Now, really quickly, uh, you've asked me about how do you pick the best nude color for you? Well, can I tell you the truth? It really depends. There's no right or wrong answer. Well, there is a wrong answer because you could go out looking, I guess, a hot mess and you don't want to do that. So that's why you're asking, right? But what I would say is go into a store and try on a couple of colors. There's so many different shades of nudes. You have your cooler colors, you have your warmer colors. Cooler colors tend to be on like the pink and the bluish side and you have your warmer colors which are more like the browns, the gold, um, the orangey type tones. Um, so you kind of want to try them on and what my nude is, is going to be different for you. So that's why I said go ahead and try it on. Um, there's a couple of different colors as you can see. I'm not sure if you can see it but these are different nudes. These pencils are by NYX. And this one is like a soft brown, so that'll have more of a brown tint to it. This one has more of like a pink tint to it. And then same here, this one will have more of a cool pinkish tint. Um, and then there's different types, like you have your matte, um, which is more like flat nudes. You have kind of glossy, I have my gloss pencils, which I love just to put on because you don't have to line your lips first. Um, here's another matte color. I'll show you that. You have, oh my gosh, you have your lip glosses. This one has like a shimmer to it. It's a little bit more sheer. Then you have your pinky color. You have your basic nude nude. I think this one is actually called bare naked. That's what I thought. And then this one has, it's almost gone. You can tell I really like this one. Um, this has a little shimmer to it as well. You also have, like I told you, this is a matte color. It's more pinky. And then this has a little bit more pink in it as well. I'll show it to you. Um, this is by NARS. I love these. If you notice a lot of times, because I'm a one-stop shop girl, um, and then, of course, I, I have one more where you carry them like this. Shout out to Butterfly FX for this. But here's another kind of pink color nude. And it just kind of depends on what you're going for. Like I said, the best way to try to pick out your nude color is to actually kind of make up your face. Which, shout out to the hubby. Watch the previous video. So I'll go ahead and show you what may not look good. But first things first, when you put on a nude lip, you actually want to neutralize your lip because... As you can see, mine are dark up here, and then they're a little pink in here. So that, again, if you just put a nude on, you're gonna see the color under your lips. So you can neutralize your lips either with a concealer or a little foundation. So I'm gonna put a little bit over my lips just to kind of even it out. Another thing I could have done is I could have taken um, one of these pencils and I could have filled in my lips so that I could have a good base before trying it on. And sometimes I just put a little powder over it. Okay. So, <laughs> anyway, so basically I'm going to try on something that may not be my color because you don't want it to look ashy. So this color right here is not. Let's set this on, see how this looks. It's too ashy, right? It's too ashy. So I wouldn't want to wear this just because it's too ashy. So that wouldn't be my perfect nude color. Now what I could do to tone it down a little bit, I could probably take a pretty gloss, which I do sometimes, to take away some of the ash. And sometimes it makes it worse. So see, you have to know um, what's right. I mean, I would probably get away with it, but it's too bright for me. 
that's not my perfect nude. So I just wanted to show you that, what it looks like to be ashy. Um, and then not really compliment because the nude, what it should do is bring attention to your eyes and it should actually make your face glow a little bit. It should bring out the other features on your eyes. The lip would not be the focus. It would be other areas on your face. So I'm going to take this off. And then I'll show you one. I'm gonna use a pencil this time instead of using, um, um, I'll show you another ashy one. Let's do that for fun. For fun, let's just do another ashy one so you can see. That was an ashy pink. Now I'm doing ashy, more nude color. So you can see what that looks like. And it'll all depend on your skin complexion. Now, this is probably going to be too ashy as well. So let's see. <laughs> I look like, what was that comedian's name? And he looked like he was eating powdered donuts. What's his name? I can't think of his name right now. I know, Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle. Here you go, how you doing? This my, see, that's what, you got an ashy pink, now you have an ashy nude. We don't want, that ain't cute, the powder donut effect. We don't, mm, that ain't God's best right there. So let me show you some colors that I do wear. These are the colors that I tend to go to for myself. If you can tell, it has a nude, but it's more of a pink. It has a more of a pinkish base. And the difference between these two, this is the regular nude. It has more pigmentation. The NYX pencil has the same color, but it's a little bit more ashy. So be careful when you're picking out your pencils and your bases for your new lipstick because they do look very different. They look similar, but once you put them on, one may just like complement your skin so well, it's almost like it just melts in. The other one may stand out more. <laughs> And again, it's it's all based on preference and, and, and the personality and what you're going for. So this is the color that I usually start with. And then my favorite nude is one by MAC and it's called uh, Satin. It's probably a popular color, but I use this one a lot. So, And this is just a really good nude. And sometimes I will go back and like outline. I could even um, bring in a little bit more color if I wanted to. But this is, sorry my nose is running. Um, I could bring in, but this is the nude that I like for me. You know, it's not too beige, it's not too, too pink. It's kind of like best of both worlds. And then sometimes I might add just a sheer gloss just to uh, bring it down a little bit. And that's my news. So, like I told you, there's a lot of different shades and you wanna be careful of it not being too ashy, um, too orange, but kind of make your face up, go find the right color. There's so many different colors as I've shown you that you could play around with. You have your pinks, you have your beige, you have your browns, you have your orange. Um, have fun with it, you know? Like I said, it's, it's up to each person. There is no right or wrong answer from me. So. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that I gave you some helpful tips. I hope I didn't overwhelm you with showing you how many different shades of news there are, right? Who would have ever thought? But there's so many different people. Our skin texture is so beautiful. We come in so many different shades. Therefore, we need so many different products, right? And you just have to have fun, go in the store, and try on some stuff until you find the right one for you. 
Make sure that you keep watching, subscribe, let me know if there's any other videos that you want to see where I can try to help you out, give some tips. Thank you for watching. I'm your girl, Makeup Mommy, and I look forward to hanging out with you again. Take care. Subscribe, 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 and like.